What's up guys? Today we'll be checking out Nope on 4K Streaming. This is not going to be a review on the movie itself, although I personally like it better than Peel's other two movies. I'm just going to be sharing some of my thoughts on the audio and the video quality. Now let's go over a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 6.5K and on IMAX film. It's got a 4K DI. It's rated R. Runtime is 130 minutes and the aspect ratio is 2.20. So there are black letterbox bars with no switching IMAX shots. But I do hear that the disc is supposed to have them. And the audio is in Dolby Atmos. Let's take a look at the Atmos viewer and see how active this mix is. So most of the surround activity remains in the lower channels. Since the movie is not a crazy action flick, there's plenty of atmospheric ambiance in the bottom part of the room. There's this scene that takes place in the sound stage where you'll hear the main characters up in the front stage while the crew members are moving around in the back speakers. Since there's a lot of scenes that take place out on the ranch, there's plenty of environmental effects like crickets and the wind and a bunch of other subtle effects that makes it feel like you're outside. So it's a bit like a quiet place in that respect. Now this shouldn't be a spoiler if you've seen any of the trailers, but when the UFO or UAP makes an appearance, that's when all these speakers come to life. There's a scene that takes place in the house where you'll hear screaming in the back left rear speaker slowly float above your head till it circles around to the top front heights. There's another scene with some heavy rain that engulfs you in every direction. And there's also a couple scenes where you'll hear debris shoot down from above your head and land in the different lower channels. It's subtle, but it's pretty cool if you have the proper setup. For the most part though, this is a static mix till the action picks up. That's when you'll hear the effects moving throughout all your channels. As for bass response, it hits pretty hard when there's music playing in the background. And when the UFO attacks, be prepared for the house shaking not only on screen, but possibly your own house as well. Nothing crazy, but it's effective. Let's go, boy! Yeah! If you're new to the channel and you're into new movies and audio and video gear, and want to see more content like this, be sure to tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. As for the image quality and it being a digital stream, I thought it was very clean and sharp. I wouldn't say it's crispy as there is a touch of softness to it, but it's pretty close. The textures in the backgrounds are very detailed, so you'll be able to make out all the pebbles and dirt on the ground, and even all the textures in the mountains. The clouds are gradationally smooth, and you can even count the horse's eyelashes. The CG is pretty convincing as well, except for maybe the chimp. That was a little hit and miss. Now, even though there are no expanded IMAX shots, there is a shot of an IMAX camera. During these scenes, you can tell when the image takes a little uptick in clarity. It's just a little sharper with better definition and cleaner edges. As for the HDR, this has a max CLL of 231 and a max fall of 189, so it's not going to scorch your retinas. It's got a very natural and somewhat warmish color palette, if not a little subdued, so it's not going to be something that's going to blow you away with vividness or bright specular highlights. The daytime scenes are bright, while the nighttime scenes look fantastic cinematically, but there are certain shots where detail does get lost in the shadows. It could possibly look better on physical media, so we'll have to come back and check when it comes out on disc. Overall, it's a great looking stream, so I'd have to give it an 8.7. It's consistently sharp and clean with some tasteful HDR in both Dolby Vision and HDR10. I do think Dolby Vision has slightly deeper black levels. For audio, I'm going to go with an 8.5. I had to raise my volume about 15 dB louder than normal. I'm sure this will have better dynamics and transparency once this hits 4K Blu-ray, but as it is, it's got very good use of subtle atmospheric effects with moderately active high channel usage. But when those high channels do kick on, it gets pretty aggressive. Overall, this is a solid 4K presentation for both audio and video, and I think an okay movie as well. Nope. So those are my thoughts on Nope on 4K streaming. Have you seen it and how did you like the movie? And which movie is your favorite? Get Out, Us, or Nope? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Now, if you do want to grab this movie, I'll leave a link for it down below in the video's description. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media. And if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content or great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next video.